It's 2017 and Old Time Radio DVD is still here. Check out our new customer ownership program and the lowest prices ever. Just go to oldtimeradiodvd.com for full information about this wonderful program. Don't forget our new program, 123 Ready TV. Folks, this is really a great app for Android and Windows phones, computers, and tablets. And it's only $19.99. In the near future, we will be adding a new computer component to it old time radio it's a great product for 2017 visit oldtimeradiodvd.com today place your order you'll be glad you did gunsmoke brought to you by chesterfield to put a smile in your smoking always buy chesterfield Made the modern way with Accuray. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Hey, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Well, ain't it? What? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, sure, Chester. Well, doggone it, the wind ain't blowing, it ain't raining, nor hailing, nor snowing, nor freezing, nor nothing, and if that don't make for a fine day up here, then I'm going back to Texas where it does. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chester. I, I, uh, I was thinking about Andy Hill. Mm, Andy. Uh, we'll find out about him in a couple minutes. Uh... Look, uh, Chester, why don't you go over and see if the telegram's come yet, huh? I'll be waiting over there for you. Over where? Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'll be back directly. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hello, Kitty. Fine day, isn't it? Yeah. Have you got something on your mind? Chester's gone over to see if that sheriff down in Oklahoma Territory sent me an answer yet. Oh, b- about Andy Hill? Yeah. Well, he's only wanted for robbery, Matt. I should think after you're telling him how he brought in a man wanted for murder, they'd be willing to go easy on him. Well, I hope so, Kitty. And especially since he's settled down here and making a good name for himself. If they'll take my word for it. Well, the sheriff will have to take your word for it. <laughs> he's probably never even heard of me. Hello, Miss Kitty. Marshal. Hello, Andy. Andy. Heard anything from Oklahoma, Marshal? Uh, Chester's over at the telegraph office right now. Oh. Well, uh, I hope it's good news. Why don't you wait and find out, Andy? I'll find out soon enough, Miss Kitty. Right now, I got to shoe a couple of horses for Jim Buck. I promised I'd have it done by noon. Jim was telling me yesterday you're the best man he ever hired. Oh. <laughs> Anybody can ride shotgun, Miss Kitty. All you do is sit there and keep your eyes open. No, it's more than that. He trusts you. It makes me feel good to hear that, Miss Kitty. Goodbye. Bye. You know where to find me, Marshal. Yeah, sure, Andy. If there were more men like him around Dodge, it might not be such a bad place to live. (laughs) (laughs) Then I'd be out of a job, Kitty. You could find something else to do. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Morning, Miss Kitty. Oh, hello, Chester. Uh, here's the telegraph, Mr. Dillon. What's it say, Chester? Well, it's not... You better read it. Uh-huh. 
I'm sending Deputy Jack Hart to return Andy Hill for trial. Signed, Bob Catlin, Sheriff. And he puts it real short, doesn't he? Yeah. He must have some reason for not giving Andy no chance. I will find out when this Jack Hart gets here, Chester. You gonna put Andy in jail, Matt? No. I'm not even gonna tell him about this until I've talked to Hall. Andy's nice and gentle now, but he'll fight like a tiger anybody tries to arrest him. And he's some handy with a gun, too. Maybe he won't have to fight, Chester. Maybe I'll just send Jack Haw back home empty-handed. What if he's got a legal warrant for Andy? Well, there's gonna be trouble, Kitty. One way or the other. <laughs> With a smile with Chesterfield. Yes, put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC. Because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Yes, a Chesterfield is always milder. Accuray controls your Chesterfield in the making. Gives it a more even distribution of fine tobaccos that burn more evenly, smoke much milder. A Chesterfield is better tasting. An Accuray Chesterfield draws more easily, lets you enjoy all the flavor. And a Chesterfield is cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without Accuray. You enjoy cooler smoking. No hot spots, no hard draw. So always buy Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoke and just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield. They satisfy. Chester, will you please stop dusting my desk? Well, but look at the... Marshal Dillon? Yeah, come in. My name's Hall, Marshal, Jack Hall. Ah, uh, how are you? Uh, this is Chester Proudfoot, Hall. Huh? How do you do? We've been expecting you. Sheriff Catlin said he was going to send a telegram. Yeah, he did. You got Andy Hill locked up here? No, I haven't. No? I haven't seen a warrant for his arrest yet. I uh, forgot. Here it is, Marshal. Signed by Sheriff Catlin himself. Uh-huh. That's a mighty fancy signature he's got. Well, it looks legal. But, uh, wait a minute. What is it, Marshal? This is a warrant for the arrest of Andy Hill for murder. Didn't Sheriff Catlin explain? No, he didn't. I guess he figured it'd be better if I did. Well, go ahead. Well, the sheriff got your letter about Andy, how he brought in that murderer and how he's become a good citizen up here. And I think he was willing to forget that little robbery charge against him. And why didn't he? A man was killed just before Andy left Oklahoma Territory, Marshal. There was three witnesses to it, but we didn't know that until they decided to talk just the other day. And they say it was Andy who did the killing? That's right. Tried to hold up a saloon and killed the bartender. How come these witnesses waited so long? He was afraid. They thought Andy'd kill him for talking before we could catch him. Well, I guess they got to feeling guilty about it. I see. Marshal, I, I think I know how you feel. You've come to like Andy. Most everybody does till they really get to know him. The boy's a liar to begin with, a real clever one. He can usually talk his way out of anything, just like his brother. His brother? His brother murdered a man, too, Marshal, about a year ago. Oh, I see. They're both liars and they're both killers, Marshal. They don't feel bad about being taken in by Andy. They tell me just about everybody has been one time or another. They tell you? Well, I don't know him myself. I've only been deputy down there for the last couple of months, but I know a lot about Andy. Uh-huh. <laughs> When do you want to start back, huh? I was thinking of taking the stage tomorrow morning. You stand at the Dodge House? 
Yes, I am. All right, come by in the morning. I'll have Andy here. Your town, Marshal. I'll do whatever you say. He'll be here in the morning. Unless he tries to shoot me. It's kind of hard to believe, ain't it, Mr. Dillon? Yeah. Oh, I ain't got no reason to be lying, I guess. No. And after all you've done for Andy, and he's nothing but a common killer. There he is, working over there at the anvil. Uh, Chester, hmm? you wait outside here, huh? I may have trouble with it. All right, sir. What are you doing here, Marshal? Sheriff Catlin sent a deputy to take you back to Oklahoma Territory, Andy. What? They want you for the murder of that bartender. Bartender? Uh, I don't know what this is all about, Marshal, but I didn't kill nobody. They got me mixed up with my brother. I heard about him. Did this deputy tell you? Yeah. What's his name? Jack Hall. I never heard of him. He's got a warrant for your arrest, and he's signed and legal. There's something wrong about this. I don't like it. And there's no reason why you should. Marshal, uh, my brother killed a man down there, name of Bob Butler. I never knew him. I never even seen him. But this butler had a cousin, and I heard he swore he'd kill one of us hills for it, and he wasn't particular which one. That's got nothing to do with this, Andy. How do I know this Jack Hall ain't really Bob Butler's cousin? He could shoot me easy before we ever got back there. It's no use, Andy. I had a wire from the sheriff, and Hall's got a warrant signed by him now. You give me your gun. I thought she was my friend. I'm a lawman, Andy. That don't make me kill you. You would, wouldn't you? I don't want to. All right. Take my gun. But you're the same as killing me, Marshal. Good morning, Chester. Andy. Morning, Mr. Dillon. Mr. Dillon, Andy just won't say nothing. Not a word. Well, maybe that shotgun you're holding on him has got something to do with it. Well, I didn't want him to get away just because I let him out of his cell. He won't get away. Morning, Marshal. Chester. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Hall. Well, this the prisoner? Mm-hmm, that's him. Andy Hill. Heard a lot about you, Andy. Feel like I know you real well. He's not talking much, huh? No. Well, he'll talk at his trial. If there is a trial. What do you mean? Of course there'll be a trial. Will there? And he thinks maybe you're going to shoot him on the way back, huh? Why would I want to shoot him? He thinks your name might be Butler. Butler? Well, that's the man Andy's brother killed. He says Butler had a cousin. Uh, this cousin swore he'd get one of the Hill Boys for it. Either one. It's true, Marshal. I've heard it myself, but well, there's something Andy doesn't know. Butler's cousin was killed in a saloon brawl about a month ago. I was with Sheriff Catlin when he arrested the man who killed him. Well, there you are, Andy. You see, you've got nothing to worry about. You'll get a trial. You'll get a fair trial. Right now, we better get going. Stage leaves in half an hour. You gonna handcuff me? No. Not here, not in Dodge. I don't want to cause you no embarrassment, Andy. I'm going to take you back, but I'm going to make it as easy on you as I can. There. You see, Andy? Oh, ain't he a nice fellow? What's that? Oh. Goodbye, Marshal. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chester. Goodbye, Mr. Haw. Uh, goodbye, Andy. Marshal? 
guy in it. I made a mistake. Oh? I should have fought it out with you when I had a chance. Yes, put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC. Because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Yes, a Chesterfield is always milder. Accuray controls your Chesterfield in the making. Gives it a more even distribution of fine tobaccos that burn more evenly. Smoke much milder. A Chesterfield is better tasting. An Accuray Chesterfield draws more easily. Let's you enjoy all the flavor. And a Chesterfield is cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without Accuray. You enjoy cooler smoking. No hot spots. No hard draw. So always buy Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking. Just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield. They satisfy. Chester. Uh, morning, Mr. Dillon. You at your breakfast yet? Oh, well, that's where I'm headed right now. Uh, well, if you'll stop in at the Dodge House with me for a minute, I'll go with you. Okay, fine. What, uh, what's going on at the Dodge House? Well, a fellow who's in there borrowed some money off me last night. He said he'd pay it back this morning. Ah, I see. It oughtn't to take but a minute, Mr. Dillon. He said he'd have it waiting for me. He's going to leave it with the clerk here. Go ahead. Oh, morning, Marshal. Chester. Good morning, Avery. Avery. Ah, what can I do for you, huh? Uh, did Sam Adams leave some money here for me? Money? Oh, no. No? Well, where's he at? Well, he paid his bill and left about an hour ago, Chester. He left? Where'd he go to? I don't know. He got on his horse and rode out of town. Yeah, but now he, he couldn't. He owed me some money. I don't even know where he's from. Sorry, I can't help you, Chester. Now, well, wait a minute, now. Chester. Don't get excited. Let's take a look at the register here. It ought to say where he's from. Well, they don't always put that down, Marshal. Most of them just sign their names. Well, right? we'll take a look anyway. Gosh. Yeah, you're right. Most of them do just sign their names. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Jack Hall. Jack Hall. What's the matter, Mr. Dillon? Hall's signature, Chester. Well, certainly Mr. Hall stayed here, but uh, he's gone now, Marshal. No, he hasn't. That stage is just pulling out now. Uh, where are you going, Mr. Dillon? I want to talk to one of your passengers, Jim. For sure, I'll wait. Well, what is it, Marshal? What'd you stop us for? I got something to tell you, Hawk. Get down. Okay. You too, Andy. Come on down here. Sure. What do you want him for, Marshal? What's this all about? Here, stay in here, Jim. You can get moving now. No, you wait. Get moving, I said, Jim. <laughs> Now, what do you think you're doing, Marshal? Now, why'd you do that? I said I had something to tell you, Hawk. You didn't have to send the stage off. You're not going anywhere. What are you talking about? I just saw your signature on the register over at the Dodge House. My signature? It's a mighty fancy one, Hawk. Just like Sheriff Catlin's on that warrant you showed me. What are you driving at, Marshal? Sheriff Catlin didn't sign that warrant. You did. You're smart, Marshal. Let's see if you're as fast with your gun as you are with your head. Stop, Andy! (laughs) 
You hit, Andy? I'm all right, Marshal. You missed me. Ali's dead, Andy. He'd have killed me if you hadn't shot him, Marshal. Yeah, he was a real feuding man. Your brother killed his cousin, and he was willing to die right here if he could only take you with him. Yeah. And he is probably a deputy, though. That's how he got hold of my letter to Sheriff Catlin. Sure. Catlin probably never saw your letter. Yeah. Well, Andy, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to write him again. And this time, I don't think you're going to have any trouble. In a moment, our star, William Conrad. Put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC, because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A, always milder. Smoke much milder. Burn evenly. B, better tasting. Draw more easily. You enjoy more flavor. C, cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without Accuray. No hot spots. No hard draw. So always buy Chesterfield. Remember, an Accuray Chesterfield is always milder, better tasting, cooler smoking. You know, a man could lose his life on the frontier and not create much stir. But if he made a new one for himself, well, he had the respect of everyone. So, uh, be with us next week. Until then, good night. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Sam Edwards, Vic Perrin, and Joseph Kearns. Harley Bear is Chester, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Join the Arthritis and Rheumatism Foundation in its efforts to solve the mysteries of these painful and crippling diseases. Send your contribution to Arthritis in care of your local postmaster. Make today your big red letter day, your L and M red letter day. Superior taste and filter, it's the miracle tip. Make today your big red letter day, change to L and M today. L and M's got everything. Superior taste and superior filter. Get L and M today. This is it, L and M, superior taste and filter. Superior taste from richer tobaccos, tastier, light and mild. Superior filter. It's white, pure white. Added to L&M tobaccos, this miracle tip actually improves your enjoyment. Look for the big red letters. Smoke L&M, America's best. L&M's got everything. Get L&M today. Be sure and listen to another transcribed story of the Old West on Gunsmoke. Next week, at this same time.